Got him. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that line tighten? Hey everyone, out this afternoon for a bit of a fish on one of my local lakes. Now, it's mayfly time, we've got some nice warm weather, um, the fish are going to be looking up, so it's just a great time to fish and I love it so much because I can roll around with a floating line and catch them essentially. Now, the weather, as you can see behind me, it's a little bit bright, so we're probably not going to get a big mayfly hatch. A mayfly like to hatch when there's more overcast conditions, but um, they have been looking for them, they have been hatching, so I still think the fish will be looking up and we will get a slight trickle of mayfly coming off. There'll also be some mayfly spinners um, pushing off the lee shores, taking to the wings, so uh, that's another option there. The fish should be, you know, rising with some of the spent ones of those. Now, I don't exactly know how I'm going to fish, so what I've done is I've prepped myself a little mayfly lake box like that. In it, I've got a mixture of nymphs, traditional wets, I've got some dries, I've got some damsels if I need to go that way, also got some blobs as well. So essentially, I don't exactly know what's going to play out, but we're going to head around, have a fish, cover some water, and uh, yeah, catch some of these lovely fish. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the gear I'm going to be fishing is super, super simple. I've got 10 foot 6 weight rod, I've got my favorite peach floating line on there, and my leader is just a 9 foot 4x tapered leader. I've shortened that a little bit, and then I'm extending that uh, with some fluorocarbon and spacing my flies out as far as I possibly can. That's something I like to do. I feel that just um, you know helps me cover a bit more water on the drop. So uh, yeah, super simple, super easy to do. And the best thing, it's versatile. I can fish dries on this. I can fish nymphs on this. I can fish traditional wet flies on this. So that's why I like it, because you just go out with your setup and you're good to go for the day. Tell you what, you could go not get a nicer day to be going for a fish on the water. It just looks absolutely beautiful. See how we go. Got it. Oh, it just came off. <laughs> Hit him pretty hard. One just rose there to the left, to the right of where my fly would be. There he is. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> that was very fortuitous. Oh. No, <laughs> it's so hard just to keep going when that happens and he's just popped off. Bummer. That was so cool. <laughs> Got him. Oh, that was such a good take. I just saw my line go and he's just come off. Ah, oh, two in a row. <laughs> that was such a good take. Got him. That was a cracking take. Oh. I've seen that line just rocket away. Oh. It's a chunky little fish. Oh. Come on, buddy. He absolutely creamed that.
and it was only only a matter of time. It's a beautiful little brown eating a nymph. in this wind I Got him. Oh, very tentative take. He ate that halfway through that drift as well. And it just went, Dook. yeah, he's small, which is why. Nice fish though. Come on. Yeah, really quiet take. And that, you know, that is just, come down buddy. You know, nice little fish. You know, that's not uncommon when you get bright conditions like this and there aren't too many fish moving. Like, it's very quiet at the moment. And, uh, yeah, like, you imagine in this bright weather, the fish aren't going to be as confident as if there was a bit of, like, a little bit more, I don't know, chop on the water here or just cloud cover. So they feel, you know, more confident about being up high in the water column and charging around eating. Got him. That was another soft take. That's two and two casts, but yeah, very tentative right now. Where are you going, buddy? Oh, oh swam through the hole in my net and he's still on. Come on, mate. That's a healthy brown trout. Nice fish. He actually rose out there and I had this awkward tree behind me here. So I just hoiked like yeah, a bit of a lob out there and just used the wind behind me to help turn over the line and just fish it slowly and yeah, he was there. Got him. Oh, that was such a nice take again. Everything feels amazing on a floating line. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Like they're modest fish at the moment, but you know, that's what happens day to day. You're not slipping out of that net. Beautiful silver, guys. Almost salmon like. Got him. Oh, oh, it just came off. Dang. When it is bright, like it is right now, I genuinely find the best way to catch them 
is really slowing down, being patient. The fish are hesitant. You can't fish as aggressively as you can in the overcast and the wind, um, you know, like in a big wind. So yeah, you've really just got to slow it down, be patient, keep the fly in the zone, and eventually, uh, yeah, you'll get them. It's just the takes can be very soft. So line control, it's very, very important. Got him. Oh, what? Stay down. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Very over enthusiastic little guy. Come on. Oh. I reckon I'm missing plenty. Plenty of those guys that are just eating very like short and sharply. Okay, so I reckon the biggest question I'm gonna get from this video is what flies did you fish? Or, you know, what do you fish generally? And it's a really, really hard question to answer because flies are quite a personal thing and they're so heavily influenced. I mean, how successful they are is influenced by the confidence of the angler fishing them. Um, I have boxes and boxes of flies. I have five big square plastic uh, boxes that are like my main uh, stay when I travel around fishing on lakes. But on a day, I like to condense it into what I think I'm gonna be using. Now, there's definitely no secret fly pattern that is just the best fly to fish all the time. Because if there was, we would all be fishing it all the time and I wouldn't have a need for so many flies. So the best advice I can give to you is that the best fly pattern is gonna be the fly pattern that is presented well to the fish and presented how the fish want it. On a given day, fish are gonna to wanna to eat different styles of flies. They're gonna to wanna to eat them higher in the water column, deeper, retrieve slightly differently. So that essentially is the key. Um, as far as nymphs go, for example, you can fish traditional seals for nymphs, you can fish dialbacks, you can fish crunches, um, you could fish, you know, stick caddis or, you know, more scuddy like stuff. You can fish any of that stuff and they will all work if they are presented well for the fish on the day in the way that the fish want them. So that is 100% the key. Now back to the fishing. Oh, that was a big one way down there. Got him. Oh. Oh. oh, come on. No, not through there. Thank you, mate. That's a chunky little one. Come on. Thank you, mate. Interesting, I fished down through the shoreline and then I just went off fish and I just stopped catching them, stopped getting chances. So I thought oh, I'll come back through this little section where I started and just hit a fish straight away then, which is really interesting. Got him. Oh, that's crazy. They just stay down. They're just here. <laughs> Fished all the way down through to the corner, and I pretty much caught my last one off this point there where I got like two and two casts. That's really interesting. Thank you, matey. Man. It is just so... Come on, buddy. It's amazing. You just don't know what size the fish is that you've hooked into because they're all eating it so... Like, when you tighten into them, they've just got so much go. Like, the takes have been quite soft, I would say. But as soon as you pull into them, 
it just locks up and you go, oh, this could be anything. And it really could be on a lake like this. You do... Got him. Oh. Oh. The take, it's just like, once he eats it and you pull into him, it's just fantastic. That's a great hook set on him. Got him. Oh, that was a fish on the hang. Oh, it's crazy. They're just here. They weren't anywhere over there. I just, you know, I must have just walked onto them today. They fight really well. They're fighting really well today. Oh. That's why he's quite fat. That's why. Did you see that? It's amazing. This cloud has come over and I've got a double on, that's why. I've got two on here. <laughs> oh, come here. <laughs> oh. Well, that's pretty cool. They're not big, but <laughs> hey, a double's a double. That is awesome. <laughs> One just rose there. Got him. Oh. <laughs> Did you see that line tighten? He was the one that rose there. <laughs> That's awesome. He's just popped off. I kind of put a little too much pressure on him. That's, I tell you what, these lakes are just so fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good and throughout a year you get such a mix of fishing it changes so they don't get old because you know every day you come here it's different every month you come here it's different
well all wrapped up there guys i hope you enjoyed watching that i hope you maybe picked up something along the way watching how i kind of approached the water today um, and caught some of these fish in the bright weather it'll be absolutely amazing if it was overcast didn't see any of the really good fish that can be caught here um, I think I missed maybe two that felt really good um, but there are some absolute giants in these lakes that you can catch as well which makes it a really just a really diverse great fishery because there's just such a range of fish size in there but as you saw there's a lot around heaps of fun to catch um, hope you enjoyed it if you were interested in learning more about this you can book me for a day of guiding so go to my website the info's in the link below and we can spend a day on the water here and I can show you how yeah, how I tackle it or tackle any of these sort of lakes as well. So thanks for tuning in. Bye.